Welcome back to Open Court Basketball 101. And if you're gonna talk with big guys, why not have the, can you move over, dude? Oh, my bad. Yeah. If you're gonna talk to big guys, why not talk to the biggest big man? Uh, Shaq, obviously, you changed the game. You changed the way that the game was played in the post, um, your athleticism and dominance. W what does the post game today mean? Is it upsetting to you where the post game is gone? It's weak right now, it's very upsetting. First of all, I'd like to thank the guards because when I came in, I didn't want to be just an average big man. I wanted to be a big man with style. So I used to study everything that they did, minus the shooters, because I wasn't a great shooter. Uh, when I was coming up, my father preached Kareem, Wilt, and Bill Russell. And the first move I learned from age nine to like 12, 13 was a, was a sky hook. So like, you know, I'm a kid out there playing little kids and I'm doing a sky hook. It wasn't cool to me. Then I seen this cat, JRE from North Carolina. He was doing the jump hook. I was like, I like that move. And then after JRE, I started watching Patrick Ewan. I said, you know what? Patrick Ewan mean, he got the jump hook. I like that. Let me study that. Let me master that. Then in high school in San Antonio, David Robson comes up. He was a guy that liked to run the floor. I was like, you know what? I like to run. I got my guard skills. Let me do that. So the Shaq character was David Robson running. Patrick Ewan's ferocity and Ronnie Cycli, when he whoa, dunked, whoa, whoa, whoa. he got his legs up. Oh, oh. He got his legs up. So I said, you know what, I'm going to put these three guys together. And there you got Shaq. So can you walk us through some of the things that you ended up learning from this center position once you established as to how teams were going to try to slow down the diesel? The first year in the league was the hardest for me because high school, I didn't study tape. College, I didn't study tape, so I thought that that would transition over. Once he started watching film, and we said, "No, nah, big fella, get deeper, get deeper, get." De now I give it to him. Now he goes to work. Cause I used to get it, and I was like, you know what? It's a lot of big guys here, but I got to stash myself. I used to just get it and go, not knowing where the double's gonna have a lot of turnover. But once I start studying tape, I realized they're not coming off shooters. They're either gonna come from the four, or they're gonna come from the guy right here. So what I would do early, if I'm not deep. You're not, deep. Get it. You're not deep. You're not deep. Oh, there deep. you go. So now I'm deep. So if it's coming from the four right there, a lot of times I had uh, Jeff Turner, Horace Grant, who can make the shot. I would go like I'm doing something, give them the bow, get them off balance, and throw it back to the guy right Did here. Did you say give now, them the bow? Show them the bow. Show oh, them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right that from the tape. Show them the bow. But <laughs> How dynamically different was it for you to go from Orlando learning to slow down a little bit to then all of a sudden being in a system with the triangle offense that puts you in the post with opportunities with cutters. Can you kind of, how was that process to learn where you were going to be effective in that? I realized in the triangle, we always send a cutter this way and you send a cutter this way. So now I got a side by, by myself, that's barbecue chicken. So I'm taking my time, I would take my time and the double will probably come off Grant D Scott would spot up, I throw it to the shooter there, or just go make my move, or just throw it to the shooter over there, or just do the dumbass running jump hook that I always used to do. <laughs> but I had to get mine first. I used my teammates, and it was a good system because people were always moving. People were always moving, and you know, we had certain options. Oh, we come set the screen right yeah, here. Set the screen right here, and, and then. I always play with great shooters. I've, I've always had the luxury to play with great shooters. So if you put a shooter right here and you set a screen for me, Smitty, I would get it. I would bait, but I would always see what the defense is doing. And D. Scott, Glenn Rice, Mitch Richmond, Kobe Bryant, guys would always be right there. Shaq, can I ask a question in the triangle? I thought was the hardest part. Me and Brent talked about that. When basketball came to the corner and you High side, sealed, Reggie. Would you? High side, yeah, like that. I learned I guess, that. I learned that from I learned that from Carl Malone because he was the only little guy that used to get me in trouble. So see, like Carl used to run, try to like you know bump me up. Mm -hmm. So Carl used to like use my strength against me, right? And always post up. Boom. So you know when I was in get mine mode, B Shaw right there, right there. And then you know we also had something called the Shaw Shack Redemption. <laughs> so you get it right yep. there because the guy leaning on me, right? You guys spin for the law, oh, spin for the law, oh, yeah, oh. spin for the law. <laughs> Let me ask you a question because we see in the numbers speak for themselves you being able to score. Some of the guys that of your generation that you played with, who was the toughest to try to stop Shaq? When you mentioned David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Patrick Ewing, what are, Yao Ming, who are some of these guys that maybe 
Ironically, none of those guys that you named. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've always had a problem with guys that were smaller than me. Malone, mm -hmm. Oakley, Barkley, and the guy who I hated was Rick Mahorn, because Rick Mahorn was bigger than me. <laughs> He'd do this, uh -huh. and, and then, as soon as I make the move, I let go. Yeah, you. and pull the chair myself. Yeah. I never had a problem with the big guys, because you know they were the same size, so I would try to get those guys. Big Country Reed. Oh yeah, Big Country Reed. <laughs> <laughs> big, call, yeah. big guys though, especially <clears throat> shot, like shot blockers like Zelvin Dikembe, no jump hooks, no layups, it's all dunks. Because mm -hmm. a shot block, you gotta take the face off. Those guys are, I'm the defensive player here, I'm not gonna double. So I would give them that, you know, I'd give them the booty bump. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of carrying also, I'd give them the booty bump right there. And then i show them the ball. And I have this thing where I would always come back like that. And like, you know, they can never get to And you're not worried about the Kimbe? No, or... never, never. That's, that's Zimbabwe chicken right there. How was it? to try to guard Big Rich Smith 7-2 with that soft touch. Guys that could step out and shoot always get me proud. Because one, I'm not playing defense. And two, I, I just can never. And then, like, you got guys like Reggie coming off the screen. So, you know, when he get showing and he get bumped, these guys complaining, running for the <laughs> front. So, like, if I don't just show, so I would show. And then they throw it back to Rick, and nobody rotates to him. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking at the set. Rick Smith's 20 shots. Rick Smith's kill sack again. So, it got to the point where y'all don't help me, I'm not helping y'all. When <laughs> Shaq first came into the league, right? So I'm guarding Penny Hardaway out here. Okay. And Shaq is posted. And I'm supposed to come back and double. Okay? And I forget who was guarding him. I think it was um uh, Buddha? No. Um and beer. No, no, one of the I think maybe Sally or somebody. It was somebody small, right? But stand behind Shaq, Reggie. I swear to God, I'm, 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 now I'm supposed to go back, don't throw it in. Okay. I look back and I'm like, ain't nobody guarding Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay. I, couldn't, I couldn't see the defenders. Like, like that's the first time I ever looked on the basketball court and somebody was standing behind somebody and you couldn't see them. I mean, I was like, oh, who got Shaq? <laughs> I scored 28,000 points on two moves. The jump hook, the drop step, and the elbow juice. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said two moves, but the elbow juice, that move don't count. So Jack, so. you know, I played with you for a year and a half in Phoenix, and the thing that surprised me is, as big as you are and as dominant and as much abuse as you dish out, you took a lot. Yeah. A lot of people would come and yeah. be physical, and I thought sometimes would get away with things with you because you were yeah. so big. Did that ever, like, bother you throughout the, you know, the course of your career? Like, most of us are friends here, so like, when I get a hard fight, for example, like, if Isaiah hard fouled me, I know it's out of respect. There's a few guys that when they, when they fouled you hard, you had to watch out. Like? like there was one of them. Okay. Like, one time, I think it was my rookie sophomore year, Lambeer fouled me pretty hard, and I told him, next time you do that, we're going to be on ESPN. But Isaiah told him to do it. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm just bad with it. <laughs> my philosophy was bring the pain first. Right. 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 Bring the pain first. And like, if you knew it was coming, you could like, you know, really prepare for it. So like, if it's a guy like, you know, one of you guys saw me, I knew it was out of respect, I turned the mad button off. But if it was a guy that was trying to hurt me, might have to get four or five games. All right, well, speaking of bringing the pain as we wrap up Basketball 101, Shaq, one free throw, we're on the line for suicides. Oh, oh no! Run. We all know this drill. Thank you guys for joining us here at Open Court. Come on, Basketball 101, please. That's gonna do it for basketball 101. Thanks for joining us here at Open Court. The diesel with the free throw. Open court on three. One, two, three. Open court! Yeah!